All right, so we're gonna start off with a nice thick cut of top sirloin. You don't know, need to go crazy with this uh, cut of steak. Top sirloin works great, nice and thick. It's gonna work excellent for our steak bites. We're gonna cut these into little one inch cubes and those are gonna be perfect. Uh, stick some toothpicks in these and after the marinade and the uh, the Montreal steak seasoning, we're gonna go with that. Love Montreal steak, one of my go-tos for sure. I've been using it for years. It's just got a nice coarse peppery and salty flavor to it. You just can't beat it. That's what it looks like right there. We're not gonna leave these out for a while. And then we're gonna make our butter garlic sauce. So you just wanna use about a half a stick of butter about a squeeze and a half of some fresh squeezed garlic. Heat it up over on the stove top and get it prepped up for the Blackstone. Or you can heat it on the Blackstone either way and it works. Next up, we're gonna prep our chicken wings. Montreal chicken, which is awesome. Some olive oil and this new buffalo wing sauce, tiger tail buffalo beer wing sauce can't wait to try it and this is all of our prep doesn't take that long wings look beautiful we're gonna add this uh, Montreal add a little bit of olive oil so it sticks to it and that's it we're gonna mix it up use your fingers get all up in there mix it all up and this Montreal chicken, if you guys have never tried it, it's awesome. Add a little more to the top, and that's what it looks like. You're gonna let that chill out for a while. And then for our mini quesadillas, we've got some zucchini, we've got some jalapeno, and we've got some corn, nothing fancy here. Whole kernel corn in the can, and that's it. We're just gonna chop up these uh, zucchinis dice them up nice and uh, nice and small that's it real simple and then our corn's already done just stick it in a bowl and then for these uh, jalapenos you just want to get well it's up to you for me <laughs> I want to get the seeds out because I like spice but you know spice is spice so uh, I'm not a crazy spice person I'm more like a medium spice person so we'll cut these out, get rid of those seeds. If you guys like the heat, leave the seeds. Uh, but for me and my family, we, uh, we're we more on the cooler side. <laughs> so here we go. We're gonna chop these up nice and fine. And one more ingredient into our quesadillas, our cheese quesadillas. And that's it, that's what they look like ready to go next step shrimp we've got our old bay seasoning that is the go-to for any kind of seafood especially shrimp it's so good and you just want to coat this nicely it gives it excellent flavor and then we're going to add a little bit of heat uh, once we get this on there mix it up a little bit add a little bit more this old bait does not want to come out. Sometimes I find if you just give it, a, turn it sideways and just tap it, it comes out much better. I guess because it's fine. I don't know. Either way, that's what it looks like. And then same thing, we got some Zatarain's red cayenne pepper. And this does not have a shaker top, so I just put a little on my palm throw it in there another little pinch give it a nice heat to it um, we're not going crazy here with these game day appetizers but we are definitely putting some heat into the game there we go a little slow-mo flip for you hey how you like that <laughs> that looks pretty cool and there we go that's it real simple and then uh, now we're just gonna cut a slice uh, well, more than one slice, about eight slices of bacon or so in half. And we're going to wrap these shrimps up individually. And I am not going to bore you with watching me wrap 
all these shrimps. So we're just gonna wrap them up one or two and then kind of show you what they look like at the end. It does not have to be perfect. You do not need a toothpick. It just sits flat on the blackstone. The shrimp cooks right into it. It's awesome. Um, so after going fast, here's what it looks like at the end. <laughs> And boom, there you go. We got our bacon wrap shrimp. Blackstone's heated up. We get some oil down. We're going to start with our first appetizer. Spread out the oil. Get it nice and heated up. Looks great. If you guys haven't checked out my video on how to clean the Blackstone, check it out because that's what it looks like every time. Here we go, steak bites down. And you hear that sizzle, and right now the goal is just to get all the steaks nice and flat. You want everything touching the grilling surface. No need to flip or go crazy with the spatulas here, just get everything flat. And that's it, once it gets flat, now you wanna give it a nice flip get that other side as you flip them the ones that don't flip perfectly that's when you can just turn them a little bit like that no big deal and the goal here is to cook the outside evenly we'll give it a little cut in half it does not take long for these steaks literally a minute and a half on each side we're spinning around and there you go perfect medium rare oh yeah that's exactly what you want and that's it you just move them around a little bit spritz them around a little bit and now is where we're going to dump our butter and garlic on top how's that for a combination Ooh, butter and garlic on top of montreal steak seasoned top sirloin that is beautiful we mix these up Get that garlic and butter all around all of them, and that is it. Get them off the grill so they don't cook anymore. But look at that, nice little close up. Oh, yeah, <laughs> they came out awesome. So they're off the grill. Next up, we got our wings with our Montreal chicken seasoning. Kind of the same thing, get them flat so everything's touching. And with the wings here, we're gonna get the outside nice and crispy, and then we'll worry about the inside. But for now, medium to medium high heat in the middle, and then once we get them where we kinda of want them on the outside, we're gonna steam them up. You can see the outside's a little bit charred there. Steam them up for a couple minutes. Check them every couple minutes, and you can see they're getting even darker. And then, same thing, we're gonna add some more steam here. But first we check the internal temp, it's at 145. We wanna be at 165, so we're gonna cover these up for a little bit more. We've got about another 20 degrees to go. The outsides are looking great, we just gotta finish off the insides. And then literally after another four, well not four, probably three minutes, check them again. And look at that. 165, 168, 169. They're done. Now we're going to add the new Tiger Tail Fusion sauce, Big Cat sauce. And be generous with this. And it looks, I love the color. And that's it, we just add it on top and then we're gonna move them around, spread them around, get all that goodness all over those wings. We're not cooking them anymore, we're just kind of spreading the, the love of the hot sauce, the wing sauce. Give you a little close up of what it looks like. Oh yeah, those are gonna be good. Cannot wait. Take them off, clean up the grill a little bit, some more oil, spread it out, and 
boom, we hit down our tortillas. Time for our cheese quesadillas. So a nice layer of this Mexican cheese, which is cheddar and jack. We're gonna put our chopped up zucchini. It's gonna give it some nice crunch right there on top. You want to go kind of quick because those bottoms will get toasty real quick. So we add some corn down there. See how quick I'm going now? <laughs> I can tell. All right, we're gonna have some some burnt quesadillas here in a minute if I don't hurry up. I check it just to make sure that we're still good. Got another 30 seconds or so. And put some jalapenos. Again, however you want them. You want the seeds, throw in the seeds. This is a personal choice for you guys. And then one more layer of cheese on top. Finish it off. Looking good. And time to flip. Like really time to flip. Boom. <laughs> Look at that. Those look nice. Any longer, I think we may have had a problem, but they look absolutely beautiful. So now we got plenty of time. Now we flip them over, push them down a little bit with the spatula, get them all nice and uh, together, and it's gonna take a few minutes. We cover it. A little bit of steam from the outside, steam these up, get that cheese melted on the inside, and all that gooiness together, and and they are looking absolutely beautiful. Let's check it. Yep, that's looking good. Give you a little close up. We check the inside here. A little lift under the covers. Oh yeah. <laughs> Look at that cheesy gooiness. Final step. We've got our shrimp wrapped in bacon. We put them down. This is the easiest step. We put them down and let them sit there for a couple minutes, not even, like a minute. Turn them. Look at the beautiful color on the bacon. Those shrimps do not take long. A little close-up so you can see a little better. And a little close-up of the final product. Oh my goodness, that looks absolutely delicious and then just for presentation we put everything on the black stone and show you kind of what we got here for our game day appetizers and let me tell you <laughs> these came out awesome all on the black stone let's go dig in hey guys before you head out make sure you hit that subscribe button Check out our new merchandise as well as our new ebook, Griddling Favorites. Everybody, stay safe and have a great day.